my dream car, ladies and gentlemen, C5Z06. I'd want it in white, though. And yes, I do realize how rare that is. Good morning, YouTube. So one thing I want to bring up is, I know I always say good morning, YouTube, but do you guys want a more specific title? I had a couple in mind. I thought either Bike and Bird Brethren, or B&B Brethren, you know, make it sound like a, like a church or a cult, or I could call you guys my bird brains, you know? Bike and Bird, bird brains, cast your vote down in the comments. So speaking of YouTube, that is my main topic today, is the YouTube ad controversy bullshit. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll go ahead and give you a, just a really quick rundown. I'm not going to bore you with it. So essentially, recently, YouTube has started demonetizing videos, which means that the creators are not allowed to make money off of them. If they have just, if they have like one thing in their video that could, uh, the, the terms are very broad. It's basically like negative content or controversial topics. At first, it kind of sounds like they're trying to make YouTube like a Sesame Street because like they're not gonna allow anything real world related. But at the same time, I do see where they're coming from because you don't want, you know, videos of people getting, you know, beheaded and shit like that, making money because of the views. It hasn't hit, a, it's not going to affect a lot of people, but the people that it does affect, it's going to affect in a huge way. So the people that make a living full time on YouTube, making either controversial stuff or, you know, use a lot of cursing in their, in their videos or, you know, sexual content or sh stuff like that, they could be affected in a, in a huge way. And the reason they're doing this is because a lot of ad companies were getting upset because their ads were being placed in front of quote unquote bad videos where, you know, people said some mean things or some mean words and people got all offended and triggered and shit. I'm triggered! I see where they're coming from, especially big companies like, you know, multi-million dollar companies that advertise on YouTube. They don't want their image next to that image. YouTube is kind of caught in between a rock and a hard place because YouTube is nothing without their creators, but their creators are nothing without their advertisers. So it's kind of a, a twisted love triangle that they are trying to play mediator in to try to keep as many people happy as possible. So one thing that kind of upset me Trigger! is that YouTube wasn't smart enough to kind of see this in advance. How they were just throwing ads on every video no matter what. And they didn't warn the advertisers, hey, this could go on XYZ video. And you know, kind of put it into their advertising contract of, you know, whatever video plays after your advertisement is not a reflection on your company. They should have put that in the fine print somewhere and that could have squashed all this all together. Oh, I don't need to be in this lane, what am I doing? Oops. So basically what they are calling it is, is your video advertiser friendly? So my question is, is YouTube creator friendly? Or are advertisers creator friendly? So my question is, if you're going to limit one, why not limit the other? Why not give the creators the power to choose what ads do and do not play in front of their videos? For example, like if I, you know, go to play one of my videos and it has something that, oh, actually this happened the other day. So I'm going to review one of my videos. I was gonna put the, uh, I think the uh, annotations on it or something like that. And I swear to God, this like conspiracy theory, like propaganda stop, starts playing. Like it's like a two minute long video, like explaining about like, how we're sending money over to Israel and blah, 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 blah. There's a time and place for that. Before my Moto Vlogs is not the place for that. Now, if you're someone who just doesn't care what plays in front of your videos and you just want the money, I get that too. That makes sense. I mean, but I think us as creators should at least have an option to choose what does and does not play in front of our videos. I just think YouTube might have pulled that trigger a little too fast. Granted, something definitely needed to be done, but I think they should have consulted with 
the general YouTube populace as far as creators and stuff goes. And there's that whole nonsense with the YouTube heroes, which is basically just getting credit to a tattletale. Which if you're a YouTube hero, you can go sit on a stick and spin. So yeah guys, let me know down in the comments, do you think that YouTube is creator friendly or do you think that we're kind of getting screwed here? I mean, I'm not going to say we because I, like I said, I don't make money, but the people that I watch and enjoy watching and make a living off of this, do you think they're getting kind of, you know, worked around here? If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, go ahead and punch that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Today we're going to you do swap you out guys? our it's almost 9 30. Housing headlights with still a, a daymaker knockoff to get some packages. I'm going to go ahead and put a link to the this. new thing.